All right, first off, I never said, and I would never say, that a court of law should just believe women when they, they make accusations against men. I would never say that. It's, that's, that's ridiculous. A court of law is supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. Formerly Rodline left a really good comment on my video, and within it contained the following. When anyone accuses someone of a sexual assault, my first thought is to take the accuser seriously and with compassion. Wanting to get evidence and facts, the need to find the truth, that isn't inherently saying the accuser is lying. Well, I'll agree with that. But the problem is, I don't see people taking the accusers seriously and with compassion. I'm not seeing it very much. I certainly didn't see it from the Republicans. I don't see it from the anti-SJWs. I don't see it from what seems to be this over-amplified reaction to uh, the Me Too movement. There are people that, are, that just seem to be uh, under the impression that women are out to get them. You know, and I don't know... How do you address people like that? And then people that are doing the slippery slope argument, you know, oh well, they're going to start. They're going to start at any time. They're going to. There's going to be this movement to to falsely accuse men, and it's like, come on, stop it! Don't go all Alex Jones on me now, you know. Um, now I, I'm seeing some some negative things coming out of the Me Too movement, and it's it's the it's the backlash to it because people are worried. I understand why people are worried, but I, I it's not really valid. It's, it's, but I understand it, <laughs> you know? The reason why I made this video initially, though, and why I made so many other versions of it up to this one, until I finally got the nice quote from uh, formerly Rodline that uh, allowed me to explain things a lot better, there was someone who made a comment who basically said that if you don't have the balls to report a sexual assault shortly after it happened, and especially if you wait 20 years to report it, uh, you've, you don't deserve justice because you shouldn't try to get justice if you don't have enough proof. Just give up is essentially the thing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't try if you don't have enough proof. And that we should question someone's motives even more if they've waited that long and are trying to, um, to stop someone from getting in a position of high power. Oh, really question their motives then. And I'm just like, if you were raped and for whatever reason you didn't want to report it, Maybe you were too hurt by it, and maybe you were too embarrassed by it, maybe you didn't want to relive it over and over again. And you didn't report it for, for 20 years, and then suddenly you see this, this footage of this person that, that raped you about to become this, this position of high power. You're, you wouldn't want to do something about it? Come on, man. That's ridiculous. Look, some of what I was talking about in my video is that there seems to be some double standards going on, okay? Now, I'm not about to say that these two examples is the, is the same type of crime. It, it's clearly much worse when children are affected, right? They, they don't... They're not, they're not able to consent, you know? Um, but we believe adults, when they say that they were molested by... Um, we believe adults with reservations, okay? We don't just fully believe them, but we certainly consider what they're saying. We certainly take it seriously and with compassion. When they say that they were uh, sexually assaulted as children by priests, why aren't we giving women that same sort of thing? Oh, because the crime is so much worse. But... That, that means you believe someone more than... than that shouldn't be a, 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 a designator for whether someone's telling the truth. Take seriously what people are saying and listen with compassion. Don't necessarily believe them, but at least 
at least consider what they're saying. You know? 